Hello Survivors, I'm the Survivalvis, and welcome to our new series for the channel, Call of the Wild, The Angler. So this is a game made by the same sort of studio or developers behind Call of the Wild, The Hunter, or The Hunter Call of the Wild. And it's basically just taking a hunting game and instead taking a route of being a fishing game. So, this game released about a month ago towards the end of August, and it came out with bad reception and in a very bad state. I also see I kind of peeked the microphone there, I apologize there. But yeah, when The Angler first released, it came out to mostly negative reviews on Steam, and I think with fair reason too, because it had technical issues, it had some gameplay issues. I think there are still some issues in that to it, but it has improved on its review status to be moved up to a mixed standing on Steam. And with the channel, like, having the openings on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I thought, you know what? It feels kind of up the alley for me, because, like, I'm tackling a lot of these outdoorsy-type games, hunting games. Let's toss in some fishing if I can, so we'll try it out and see what it's like. But I do have to say there's a little bit of technical, just dumb decisions in this. And I'm going to hopefully start us off completely... Okay, yeah, so we're... this is a fresh save, which I've had to try repeating a couple times now. So, okay to all those, uh, the Apex content. So... What I originally did when I first logged in or got the game booted up is I want to go into the options and change some graphic stuffs just to make sure it all kind of played out how I want it to. The stupidest thing I've ever encountered is that you get a limited choice here for what you can do. And then once you're finished this, it doesn't take you to the menu. It throws you into the game itself. I find that the dumbest decision I'm I... am Clayton David Johnson. And I would say this here is my part. I'll talk more after. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for. Because if we don't, uh, not a soul will. Take your time to drink it in and get used to life here. The hot springs or mountain lake are great goals. But you call the shots, go where you'd like. Your equipment will take more than a little mastery. But if it's easy, it ain't worth doing. And you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end. It's true that sweet mother nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over the years, man has spat on it, ground it underfoot, and siphoned off her plenty for ruin. It's been the job of us Johnsons to keep it together since 1872. Trust me, it ain't easy. Hell, I'm not even sure it's possible. But it's well worth it. What we have today is beautiful beyond compare. It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve. Yeah, this is why I wanted to be able to adjust my graphic settings before booting into the game proper. And it makes no sense. Like, we'll get into, I think, a character creation menu after this plays out. I'll make up who we're going to be, or avatar, etc. And then I'll show you what the actual menus are like, compared to what, like, the main menu just gave you that stupidly little glimpse of. Although I'm actually kind of surprised how long this, uh, intro cutscene is kind of going on for. Yeah, okay, so here's load screen. We'll get into things a little bit more proper here, but I am curious to see how the game's going to be. Fishing is one, is a thing that's often, uh... Uh, do 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 Um, I guess I'm one. Yeah, it's still kind of like, uh, the Hunter Classic. Jeez, they really don't give you much character creation, do they? Can't really change that. Uh, 
Yeah, wow. I'm su like I guess I'll go for that. Uh accessories. Maybe there's stuff you can buy and unlock? I don't know, but it's Really, that's your rota Yeah, there's uh some weird choices for like uh design stuff already. But that's at least that wrapped up. Okay, so now let me take you into the actual options menu. So those two little images I just, there are those two menu screens I flipped through. Yeah, that's very little compared to everything that's here, which I don't understand why they didn't just have this menu right at the forefront to work around with. It's like, okay, I don't need that that high. Uh, I'll change, changing that down, that might help a bit. I'm going to turn motion blur off. I've only found that to like, uh, kind of make me sickish. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll try keeping that high. Maybe turn that medium. Depth field I'll keep on. Maybe I'll leave that on. Do, do, do. I'll try that and see. I'm probably going to have to keep working around to try to find a steady or the best kind of graphics that'll work in video. But we'll try this for now and see. Again. First episode, let's just take our chances in and Sophia see how Taylor it goes. From Taylor's Tackles here, and I hear you're in need of a little fishing refresher. Oh, actually, well, let me tell you, you've come to the right place. Uh, Although, another right place to go would be Taylor's Tackles, right down at the central outpost. There we Get go. Missing. Okay, so now we're going to have uh, subtitles, everything on, something else I forgot to check. But yeah, okay, so welcome to Golden Ridge Reserve. To ease in, you'll be presented with some short explanations and instructions. These instructions will cover the controls and how to catch your first few fish. Can confirm. Now, first things first, let's get you in position. Step up to the pier if you please. I... Okay, I gotta admit, some parts of the game do look pretty nice and stunning, like just taking a look at the cabin there. But then there are certain things... I guess maybe it's just how the pine trees are there, but other parts almost look a little off. And then one thing that was consistently commented on is how the water looks. It's... I mean, it kind of looks okay to me right now, but maybe it's... I think I've heard that it almost like flickers from further away, so we'll see in time. Yeah, let's just go through the tutorial, see what I it's see like. You your own you can't get anywhere if you don't take it out, so you do the honors. Okay, so... So, let's start off with a simple cast. Keep those shoulders and hips square for me. Oh, I, is that actually like the drag setting in the bottom left? I don't... Okay, this is going to be interesting, because... Yeah, this is going to... Well, as it should be, it's going to be an involved fishing game, so it's going to be that. Oh, actually, I don't think I... Hang on a moment. Oh, cast too slow. Okay, how big of a area am I going to need to cast out with? Cast too slow. Okay. Yeah, so casting's gonna take a little bit of time to, uh, figure out. If I want... Okay, so then you do have different speed to reel in. I think sh using shift for that works pretty good. Well, I'd like to see you do a few more. Let's say two? So, I'm wondering if it's like a... Okay, it's more like work your momentum back and... Okay, yeah, casting is feeling a little weird right now. Let me see. Um. Let me try boosting that up. Maybe making it more sensitive will help here. Okay, so back, forward, back, forward. Yeah, it's... I kind of think it would have been better just like a simple drag back, move forward throw, because it's not like... It is like that. Okay, well, I definitely have more to learn, but I mean, that's why we're tutorial is here. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, maybe I gotta... Yeah, there's going to be some stuff to learn. I think you really have to watch for, like, uh, how the rod is actually being held in the hand. Because that can tell you a lot. If it's too far back, 
it's not going to register going forward quite right. Now we're fishing for real. I'd like to see a nice clean cast. Strike as soon as she bites and reel her in when she's tired. I'm hearing some interesting sound effects going off. It's almost making me think like there's going to be wild animals around too, but I don't think there will be. Okay, so, right, let's see if I do that, and forward, and back, and... Nope. Okay, right, I gotta remember to watch it. So back, forward, back, forward. There we go. Although, truthfully... Man. Oh. Okay, so the bottom right is going to be your basically essentials for like knowing how much the fish is fighting, uh, if your line's going to break or not, stuff like that. So, God, I look so butt ugly with the character creator. Like, granted, all of the hunt. Well, actually, the Hunter Classic, although they had the pre made avatars. At least you had a nice variety to pick from there. For, like, Call of the Wild, both the Hunter and now the Angler, you had such few options, and... God, I hope you can, like, get more opened up. Yeah, so we'll just release the fishy. Congratulations! She's a beauty. The fish here aren't yours to keep, so even if you love her, you gotta let her go. Okay, this tooltip probably would have been a little more helpful before we got into the thing with the cast. Because here is the... This is your float indicator. It will show the sass you're floating, distance of line between it and you. The indicator will start to wobble when a fish is nibbling be pulled down when the fish bites. Okay, so... We'll do it again, but I'm curious to see how many types of fishing are going to be included. Because there's... Like, simple float fishing here, there's fly fishing, there could be tro uh, trolling with a boat, out fishing on a boat. And then if they did want to keep expanding, you could even get into more areas like uh, open sea fishing or stuff like that. So, I feel like there could be a lot of potential, but there's also that it released in such a state... It actually does kind of remind me of how uh, Call of the Wild the Hunter released, because that game, for as good as it is now, on first release, it had a lot of troubles and issues, so... Maybe it's going to follow the same pattern where, yeah, it's going to start out rough, but it's going to get refined and smoothed and then polished over time? We'll have to see, but okay, let me try this uh, casting again, so... Forward... Back... Forward... It seems like it's a bit forgiving, although it's kind of weird to uh, watch and feel everything with the rod there. Like, I do have one of the mouse pads that has, like, the uh, wrist support to it. And before you guys go into anything, it's just a simple blue mouse pad. There's nothing artwork or culture-wise on it to disappoint you. But yeah, it's just because I can't exactly do the full bumping down or moving the mouse down. Okay, so tension indicator displays how much tension is on your line relative to the maximum tension it can withstand. The more the indicator fills up, the more tension on the line comes too high, you're snapping your line. So, again, just what I had kind of seen. Keeping tension in the line will ensure the fish can't escape easily and tire the fish out. Tension will be high when a fish is fighting and decrease when it gets tired. Keep tension high by moving your rod up and away from the fish when it's fighting, or by reeling in when it gets tired. Okay, so I think you actually want to keep a bit of tension on the line, but it's that balancing act of knowing not applying too much, but not having, like, none at all. Well, just kind of wait a moment and see. But yeah, it's been a long time since i played, like, a dedicated fishing game. I think it's something where fishing fell more into, like, a mini-game or a side activity. Just because, welcome to the thrill of fishing. Just kind of waiting around for something to happen. Although, truth be told, it, you know, I'm going to reel it in. Because I almost feel like uh, the game didn't pause in those little tutorial tips. So something actually went after our line while I was in those. Okay, forward, back, forward. Yeah, so it's not so much the uh, momentum it seems to want to register, but more you're moving your mouse forward 
and then uh, just let him go. I think I actually saw the fish going over to that. Okay, I just don't want to apply too much. I actually don't really need to move the rod around quite like that. I think I'm kind of leaning into uh, how Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online handled how to fish. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what's it this time? Oh, another juvenile largemouth bass. And then it does look like... Okay, there's going to be rod skill... Real skill and even bait skill. So that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, let's just release the fishy. Let's take a look around. Can you climb to the top of that lookout tower for me? Okay, they're gonna bring in some of the uh the hunter mechanics. So this is probably going to be actually hang on, can I open my map? Ooh, that's a lot you can go and do and see. I'm thinking you can boat on that lake. Actually, maybe there's only can you boat on some of the lakes? Because they don't look... Well, some do look large enough. Others, maybe not as much. We'll have to see, but it'd be interesting to have, like, different boats. If you go canoe, kayak. Again, there's a lot you could actually really go in-depth with. It's just, will this game get that depth? Or will it be, like, a side project that'll just fade out? But so far... Uh, you guys let me know in the comments how you find the game for, like, uh, performance-wise. I don't think it looks too bad. I haven't yet gotten the chance to, again, edit, render, and see what it looks like through that. I mean, I can't do that. I'm playing literally right here before you guys. So, we'll see how this all plays out. But, yeah, I think a fishing game like this could do pretty well. I don't know if there's really any other big-name fishing games out there. Like, there might be things like uh, Fishing Planet or that. But if you have something that's sort of like uh, The Hunter Call of the Wild, where it's one buy only... Well, I shouldn't say one buy only, but, like, more of a complete package single buy without, like, microtransactions, super grinding for stuff, I could see Call of the Wild the Angler kind of getting itself as a staple game. Oh. So, we'll survey. Golden Ridge Reserve. What's the okay. Name, huh? Well, this one dates all the way back to the late 18th century. Yeah, see, Prince now the flyover is much better to go Craig through and Dolan. do. It's not that choppiness that we did see coming in. I don't know if that's because that was like a pre-made cutscene going over, or the graphic settings were just not compatible Hello? with it. Hello! I can see you. Can you see me? Come find me. I'm down at the outpost. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, you have a jump. Do you have fall damage? Uh, it's for science. No. Okay, there's no fall damage, which, I mean, I guess I... You don't really need fall damage in a fishing game, so I guess it makes sense not to have any, but... I mean, for science, I had to try it. Let's head down and meet, uh... What's her name? I actually completely missed that because of all the talking I did. Yeah, see, I'm here. God, it feels... I don't know if you really needed to do, like, this uh... This right here is my pride and joy. The Central Reserve Outpost. This ain't just any outpost. You'll find all the bells and whistles here, like Taylor... Taylor, Packers, that's it. A brand new shop run by my friend Sophia. Oh, Sophia Other Taylor, that, okay. you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation. Plus a flagpole for yourself. Now, I don't know if you needed to make an entirely separate game to have fishing, because I thought the Hunter Call of the Wild, with all of, like, the reserves that had some lakes and water to it, you could have tried adding on to that. But, we'll see how this goes and plays out. Again, there's so much depth if you really wanted to go into it, I could see it earning itself, like, this standalone title status. But we'll just kind of see how it goes and plays and enjoy your time with it. Okay, I heard the birds, but I don't see the birds. God, this is giving me such, uh, again, Call of the Wild or the Hunter vibes. I think the last kind of fishing anything I was doing was, again, Red Dead Redemption or, uh... 
Far Cry 5 with how they did the fly fishing sort of thing there. So I'm I I am super curious to see are they going to have fly fishing? Is it just going to be this kind of raw and real sort of setup? Like, oh my god, there's actually a person we can see too. I don't think there's in any of the hunter games you actually saw another person. Put a fish to a face. While you're here, can I interest you in a bargain? How about some bread? It's on the house. Okay, so we got one whatever that token is. Okay, so we got spinning, bait casting, match. Uh, ah, see, it looks like it. It does look like it might just be uh, that one type of fishing. I was kind of hoping we would see like fly fishing as an option. Okay, but there are apparels and things you can pick up, so you do have some stuff you can go for for yourself and outfit-wise. And boats and cars. Okay, if I do want to change anything up more with... That's there. Okay, enter the shop and get the bait. Um... Okay, so baits... Oh, there we go. Um, do do do. Now, you won't get far if you don't put your bait on your rod, so give it a go. Natural and live baits. Okay. So, get the rod out. Go to Q. Um, okay, that's how you do it. Yeah, we'll try to get maybe this next little tutorial option completed. Goodbye for now. See ya. What? We'll see how it kind of goes along with that. Like, there's quite a few different options for, like, fishing or that, but I don't know. This country, looking at it, it, to me, just... I feel like fly fishing has to get into this game, and... I almost have to say it should be a free update. But, again, it's maybe too early to be going into that kind of thinking. If it does just stay... Um, actually, you know what? Again, I'll have to see exactly how it all plays out more. I guess... Okay, so this is Bear Lake. And maybe that's just like a spot to deploy boat or fast travel at. Here we go. Drag. Okay, drag is function of your reel that turns how much power fish needs to use to take line from your reel. The higher you set your drag, the more energy a fish needs to spend to take line. Stronger reels produce more drag. Change your drag by equipping your rod using one and then using the X and Z buttons. Okay, simple enough. A higher drag will increase tension and tire the fish faster, or even prevent it from taking line, but might also put your line at risk of snapping. A lower drag will let the fish take more line, and 0% drag won't allow you to reel the fish. Try setting your drag higher. I already got it 30%, so how... Oh, lord, they want you... How high can you, can you set, set it? All the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll keep it 50. I think that's a decent enough. Okay, so let's do... Back, forward, back, forward. There we go. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to, but I think it is just because it's... Oh, you can actually spot the fish as it comes in. Yeah, I might have the drag set a bit too high, but uh, we're watching it. I do like there is a bit of a like a sim simple depth into the fishing right now. Like having the drag you can adjust and change, having things like... I don't know if I like the strike being such a prompt game feeling thing, but I mean, as I'm getting used to it, I think it's going to be helpful as, like, Doria Laid. What about pumping? Pumping is the... Oh, right. Just the, like, forward and back and that. Okay. Pumping is the act of lifting your rod, pull fish close to you, and reeling in the slack line crazy, you lower it back down. Keeping your rod opposed to the fish's swimming direction is a good way to tire out the fish faster, but wait with reeling until the fish has stopped fighting unless the drag 
is holding in place. Alright, now let's try catching a fish with what you know about drag. Try not to let the fish gain too much line by keeping your tension high when you need to. Okay, so we'll try this as maybe the last objective. And then we'll end this first episode here. But so far, the game doesn't look too bad. I know there's talk about like the water flickering, but I don't really see anything like that yet myself. Might be because I'm not trying to get the most for graphics. But then again, graphic settings are all unique to the machine in person, so it's hard to say what specifically could be causing that people have seen. Well, that actually might be our little fish right there. Yeah, you actually get to see the fish that will strike. And wait for it. Okay, gotta be careful. Yeah, I've done a bit of fishing in my own, like, real life and that. It's just so, kind of hard to convey the pumping feeling. And I don't think I even did anything for that. Yeah, we'll release. Okay, see, there's gonna be something specific it's looking for. One, two, three. It also seems like no matter how far I let the, like, uh, casting animation go, it doesn't really toss the line out any further. It's like a set distance it keeps at. Okay, yeah, see... Oh, I think they did a... See, none of these are actually registering. Oh, I've been doing it entirely wrong. I really gotta read the screen more, because I thought I actually had to, like, move the mouse. Instead, all you're really doing... is using right click. Okay, that makes much more sense to That's another beauty. You're a natural. I am pretty Finally. dumb at times, I got to admit. It's been a pleasure, but Taylor's tackles needs me. Go check in with the warden and don't forget to drop by. Okay, that actually seems like a fair point to uh leave the tutorial app for now. But yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. I've got to get a little bit more of a feel for everything in regards to how it plays, but I think I'm going to enjoy covering this on the channel. It'll be a nice, just relaxing, outdoorsy game and series that does feel like what I'm kind of specializing towards more. It's kind of one of the reasons why I've still been debating on doing, like, a rebrand for the channel instead of the survival this something else, but... Yeah, thank you guys for joining me on this first episode of Call of the Wild, The Angler. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave comments right down below. If you guys are curious about the game yourselves, be sure to keep watching the series, because I'll try to be... I usually like to do at least three to four weeks on a game or a series I do. Now, granted, I can't really say, like, video run times, because those vary wildly, depending on the game. But, like, Let's Build a Zoo was, I want to give it some time, show it off, and... If you are curious or have questions, you can always comment, and I can respond to my best knowledge about them. But, yeah, thank you all for joining me on this new series on the channel. Until I do catch you in the next video or episode. Actually, I guess it's anglers and survivors. Please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and uh, happy fishing? <laughs>